Nope. So back when Gene was first revealed in Brawl Talk, they gave us a 2.5 second clip that I spent four hours analyzing frame by frame to try and get as much information about Gene as I possibly could. But now that he is actually released, I wanted to correct a couple of things, add a lot onto it, and then explain more about how Gene's mechanics actually work. Now this won't be a complete tech video, it's more just a rundown of Gene's mechanics and his stats and how they compare to every brawler in the game, but after I feel like I have a really good concept of the best strategies and tech to actually use with Gene, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on that, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that, and that means subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Now for reference, all the stats that I'm using in today's video will be at max level, so that it's a very easy comparison. That being said, the stats in some of the gameplay will be different because I tried to unlock Gene using my boxes rather than just buying him in the shop and then maxing him out afterward. Let's start off by talking about Gene's attack. For Gene's attack, he shoots out a fireball with the potential to deal 1400 damage to a single target. I'm actually going to show you footage from my last Gene mechanics video to explain how many hits it takes for Gene to take out every brawler in the game. It would take six hits to take out Bull, El Primo, and Frank. It would take five hits to take out a Pam. It would take four hits to take out Bo, Daryl, Jesse, Leon, Mortis, Nita, Penny, Poco, Shelly, and Terra, and that's really important. Additionally, he can take out the following brawlers in only three hits, and that's going to be Barley, Brock, Colt, Crow, Dynamite, Piper, Ricochet, and Spike. These are the brawlers that he's going to be able to really target using his super, pulling them in, and insta-killing them because they're so close that he can just spam his regular attack. His attack has potential to reach five and two-thirds tiles before then splitting up into six little flames that travel an additional five and one-third tiles. This gives Gene a total range of 11 tiles, which is one-third tile further than Brock's attack. This actually makes Gene's attack range the second longest in the game, only outranged by Spike when he is actually perfectly in line with his shots. Now for that spread after it actually reaches that initial range, I like to think of it being very similar to Frank's attack, uh, but basically Gene being able to attack from a safe five additional tiles away. This actually allows Gene to attack from around walls at a very safe distance. Each flame individually, once it does burst out, deals 233 0.3 damage, which is not much by itself. His total reload speed, including the animation time that it takes for him to actually attack, is 2.3 seconds, which is the same as Barley, Terra, Penny, and Spike. Up next, let's talk about Gene's super. For Gene's super, he shoots out a fist that will grab one target and pull them into Gene's current location. Because it pulls towards Gene's actual location, that means that if Gene moves, it will actually change the range at which the brawler will be pulled. In fact, you can actually pull a brawler an additional three tiles by moving away like this. The super also deals 420 damage upon impact, which is the same as one bullet from Colt. It is not very impressive at all, that damage is like nothing, but the pull is game changing. His super range is 9 tiles, which is actually 1 and 1 third tiles shorter than Terra's super. His super will not pick up items such as gems or power cubes. If used against a box, a heist safe, or a turret, it will deal damage to it, but it will not pull. Something very interesting about Gene's super is that the enemy brawler is stunned while they are actually being pulled. But Gene is not. He is still able to actually unload shots, and that means that at max polling range, he can actually fire off a couple of quick attacks before they can fire back, which can give him an unload speed advantage. His super can stop supers and attacks that normally take a while to unload, like Franks, uh, Ricos, Colts, Pams, and it can also knock the ball out of a brawler's possession. Interestingly enough, Gene's pull can be interrupted by other brawlers that have a super that can pull a brawler. For Gene's super to fully charge up, it takes 24 of the tiny flames that burst out and split up. And with six flames per attack, that means that he actually requires four complete attacks to charge up his super, which is tied for Bo, Brock, and Terra. Except 
all three of those brawlers can actually deal damage to more than one brawler at a time. And typically Gene will be attacking from a long distance away, which means that it can take a very long time for him to charge up his super. At max level, Gene has 5,040 HP, which is the same as Bows and Shelly's. As I did earlier, I'm gonna show you a quick clip from my previous video, which explains how many complete hits it takes for every single brawler in the game to take Gene out. It's gonna take six complete hits for Poco, five for Crow, Jesse, Nita, and Penny, four for Brock, Mortis, and Terra, three complete hits from Barley, Bo, Dynamite, El Primo, Frank, Piper, Ricochet, Shelly, and Spike, and two from Bull, Colt, Daryl, Leon, and Pam. Gene's movement speed is uh, slow, like the majority of the brawlers in the game. Now let's talk about Gene's star power. For Gene's star power, he heals friendly brawlers within a four tile radius around him for 100 health per second. It will not heal himself, which means that only his teammates will actually benefit. Now I haven't done a Brawl Olympics series where I compare how each of the brawlers heal in the game. I should probably do that sometime, huh? But I ran some quick numbers, and I think that his star power is best comparable to Pam's. Pam's star power will heal 120 29 health per second, assuming she lands complete hits, which she rarely does. Gene Star Power heals teammates for 100 healing per second, and for reference, both Pam's and Gene Star Powers have a four tile radius. To offer some more contrast here, Pam's Star Power will heal herself, while Gene's will only heal teammates. And because she oftentimes does not actually hit all of her cogs onto a single enemy, this means that Gene Star Power will offer more consistent healing for teammates than Pam's will. On top of that, Pam's Star Power requires an attack and an enemy brawler to be within range for her to heal, while Gene can just do it passively without wasting any of his shots. And it's for these reasons that I think that his star power is very strong, and I'm excited to see how it will actually impact the competitive meta. Now that I've broken down his actual mechanics, let's see how his stats rank up against every other brawler in the game. Attack power is Gene's lowest ranking stat, but his range actually is his biggest strength, which is a huge thing that you want to take advantage of if you want to win more matches with Gene. He has an average walk speed, his HP is mid-range, but he actually has the highest HP out of all of the long-range brawlers. His super charge rate is relatively low, especially when you consider the fact that his attacks do not pierce, and that he will be attacking from a distance a lot of the time. And lastly, his reload speed is average. Combining his attack damage and his reload speed together, he has a damage per second of 600 166, which is almost identical to Nita's. Okay, guys, let's actually uh, summarize a few different things, okay? I think that Gene is very strong, okay? He definitely has his weaknesses, like the fact that his super deals almost no damage, but a skilled Gene is gonna be very tough to beat. He's got the DPS and HP of Nita, the control of Poco at the range of Brock, he can attack around walls like Spike, he pulls brawlers across the map like Terra, and he can passively heal teammates similar to Pam. I think he's going to be very strong, and I wouldn't be surprised just based off of this today's video to see him get a nerf here in the next balance change because uh, we all remember what happened with Leon. <laughs> but I want to know what you guys think. Is he going to be the next strongest brawler in the game or am I hyping him up too much? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will absolutely be giving you guys more advanced tech and tips to actually playing Gene, so make sure you subscribe for that. And I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.